Well, folks, we are at the Four Mile Creek State Campground, and we're going to try to give you a little tour. We are on Site 53, and it's really miserable weather. <laughs> It's misting, and I don't know if I'll get away from the lake and this will be better, or if not, but it's uh, not very good weather. This is a nice campsite, though. It's got a lot of sites, and I imagine it gets full during the season. Our campsite is just a little too close to the playground, <laughs> but we're not going to be there. But that's the lake over there, Lake Ontario, so you're right on the lake. So fog and all that, they have an awful lot of electric sites, and they have an awful lot of non-electric sites. These are some yurts that you can stay in. They're kind of like cabins. Howdy. You can see they're fairly occupied, though. There's quite a lot of trailers. I don't, I don't know who's brave enough to bring a tent out in this. I should have come over on this side. This side seems a little drier than where I am. Obviously, it's a little crowded or two. People out walking their dogs. There's the camp store. It's a dump station way over here. That's unique. That's the camp store right there. I don't know if it's open yet this time of the season. The firewood and pizza, but they look all locked up. We're a Saturday in May. You can see the the road's not really too bad, considering the road coming to here was awful. Uh, one thing I notice about this park is that the roads are not one way like a lot of places. They're not super wide. You're going to meet people and get stuck. But they're not one way anyways. While they're fairly flat, they're not fairly level. Right, this is the section behind my site, my site which is 53. This is the non-electric area, tenting area, and this is absolutely saturated. <laughs> There's nobody over here at the moment. One little loop here. Ahead. We're going to go down this uh, road down to the lake. It says official vehicle only. But these are sites 165 and up. Who picks a site that's on a, on a down slope hill? These are absolutely unflat. 173, 175, 177. They're on a, the side of a hill. Here's the center, no electric, 138, 140, 142, 144. They're a little flatter. They're nice, they're like out in a field, except they're in trees, they have trees. Not a lot of trees, and the leaves aren't out yet, so you can't really tell how much shade they've got. Here's the dump station. All right, so we're gonna leave the park. We are going out. We gotta figure out where we're going though. This is right off the uh, Niagara Scenic Parkway. Uh, which is an awful road. 
We took the GoPro to the bathrooms because that's what uh, gives a better wide-angle view. This bathroom is the one I used. It's the closest one to the lake. And if you have one of these sites over here, I guess you have your site goes all the way to the lake. There's this cute fireplace outside the bathrooms. And this is the men's room, of course. I did not check the ladies' room, but I assume it's similar. Um, it's neat that it's got this bench in here. Um, you can put your stuff on. It's a real nice bench to sit on and put up, pull on your socks and shoes and stuff like that. In the men's room on this bathroom, there were only two uh, toilet stalls. <laughs> but they had really nice toilet paper. I couldn't believe the toilet paper. It was practically Charmin, but not quite. This is the handicap stall, which looked like it needed some repairs because the the uh, valve to work the upper shower did not have a handle on it. And you'll notice that the valves in the normal shower are, you're going to get soaked as soon as you turn the water on. So <laughs> I didn't like that. So we used the handicap shower because it had a hose, a hosed shower, and we could uh, turn it uh, anywhere we wanted it. So it didn't get us thing. You can see there the, the handle's missing for the upper one. I was going to bring in a pair of pliers and use it. There was uh, hot water in the sinks, which I think is unique to a lot of bathrooms. There's usually not hot water in the sink. Nice mirrors. They had soap um, and they had uh, hand dryers. Outside was this huge bleeding heart plant and uh, it was a pretty nice rest room really. Um, you could, and the nice thing is that I could drive to it, which um, isn't normal either for most state parks. So I liked it. And then there was this funny little fire plug. I then decided to go over to the uh, the first bathroom as you come in the park, which I believe is the oldest bathroom. It definitely looks the oldest. It was the busiest bathroom for sure. It had uh, more stalls for the men, some ancient urinals, and it had uh, the same number of showers. They had doors instead of uh, curtains though. And they had a different type of valve. It's These were heavily used by the people in trailers. So I didn't bother to come over to try them out. But the hot water in mine was absolutely wonderful. You could actually get it too hot, but the valve allowed you to adjust it. So that was really nice. Quick review of the campground. Um, this is a really nice campground. In great weather, I'll bet this is packed. And I'll bet, I'll bet it's reserved um, full through... June, July, and August. Um, but that doesn't mean September and October aren't wonderful. May obviously, <laughs> May is obviously a little iffy. Once the lake warms up in the summer, you know, it keeps the wet, the, the temperature around the lake pretty nice. So this is probably a pretty nice campsite. The sites are fairly well spaced. Um, most of the sites are have an old gravel driveway that comes in where you can park. Most of them are way out of repair. They're, they're all grass and it's, it's just gravel. But um, I think maybe 10% of them are still functional gravel that will keep your rig out of uh, mud puddles and things like that if you bring your rig. Um, if you're tenting, it's got fantastic ground if it's dry. The, the grass is thick and lush. Um, and it's fairly flat, except for a couple of sites that I, I mentioned. The electricity seems to be good. The bathhouses are really nice. Um, and the girls that are working here are, are very friendly and very helpful. And um, they can even take my jokes. So I like them. <laughs> but I like this campsite. I think I will be back here. And uh, anybody who wants to come to Niagara Falls, it is a 20 minute ride from here, 25 minute, maybe even 30 minute ride from here to Niagara Falls, the actual falls. However, it's all down the scenic parkway. So you go by about four other places that you might want to stop. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to complete the Niagara Falls tour by going down through the scenic parkway and stopping at all the um, Whirlpool overlooks, the, the uh, Sluiceway overlooks, the Falls overlooks, all these different places that are on the way down. So, Four Mile Creek, 
State Park, New York. Thumbs up.